can you offer on a Prince Edward Island property that's already conditionally sold? This is the question I'm going to be addressing today because I've had it asked to me about three times in the last two weeks. So basically, when a property goes on the market, it's marked as active, which for the consumer means it's for sale. On our MLS, that means it's for sale. So next, when an offer comes in, typically that offer, particularly on residential properties, will have a number of conditions. Some of those conditions could be financing, home, insurance, oil tank, septic, inspections, a 48 hour clause to sell a house, and maybe some other contingencies. So basically when an offer comes in and the vendor and or owner finds it acceptable, then on our MLS, it's marked conditionally sold. Conditionally sold means that the property is sold, but there's some conditions. Can you offer on that property at this point? Absolutely. The question is, are you gonna bring in an offer that's gonna be lucrative for the vendors to try to kick the first offer out of the ballpark. And what I mean by that is, let's say that party A has problems with their financing or the home inspection happens and they want a price reduction. If you're in second place, you're making an offer contingent on that first offer falling. You can't sell the house to two parties. Well, it's been tried in Florida, but it's not legal. So what has to happen is if you wanna be a backup offer, you want to make sure that offer is super, super strong, which could mean an offer that's cash with no conditions whatsoever. Not a lot of people are comfortable with that. I completely understand, but that's what's going to get your foot into the literal door of that house. Have a great day. If you have any questions about PEI, PEI real estate, and for PEI tips, tricks, and new listings before they hit MLS, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell symbol, and join my mailing list at michaelshomes.com.